Hi, Mike's Carburetor Parts. I've got a couple of Rochester Bs here, that, and I want to talk about the fast idle, the choke, and um, uh, if it idles too fast, what to look at. Uh, this is a <clears throat> one of the older Bs, probably 50s, <clears throat> and uh, this one is probably uh, late 60s. This is the later B. This one has the uh, hot air choke on it. <clears throat> okay, so on the older one here, um, this one here is a manual choke, in which is uh, opened and closed right here. And that's closed, or open, I should say, opened up right there. Okay, so when it's open, you can see it's right here is a, the idle screw. And the valve is closed down here. It's all closed. You can't see, uh, you can see very little air around it. And uh, actually, I can see it's a little bit open. So to get it all the way closed, I'm going to screw this out a little bit, the idle screw. That's holding it open. And of course, you would uh, adjust that with, uh, when it's running on the car. Okay, so now it's closed. All right, so as the uh, choke closes, it moves this fast idle lever. You, if you can see it, how, how it moves. And also moves the throttle here open a little bit. So it opens up the throttle. See how it's open right there? And so that's going to make it idle a little faster. Okay, so that's how the uh, fast idle works on the older B. Now, if you have trouble with this idling too fast, uh, of course, your idle, adjust your idle, that's obvious, and you adjust it with the choke all the way open and the engine at operating temperature, and I don't know what the RPM is, probably around 500 or so, and uh, so one thing to check for is uh, if you took these, this throttle plate apart or if you bought an old carburetor somewhere, uh, check and make sure that it's closed at idle. Uh, it, if this plate was put on backwards, uh, it could have left a gap in there and that would, and as long as that throttle is open, it's going to allow more air through and it's going to uh, idle too fast. Okay? So that's one. Now, uh, Let's see, as long as the idle is set, when the choke is closed and the fast idle is going, there's nothing to set on the fast idle on these. It just works with your idle screw here. So the idle should do it, okay? So this one's pretty straightforward and simple. The later one has a... Uh, this one has a hot air choke on it that, that opens it, closes the choke. So open like that. Uh, you can see the fast idle cam is down here at its lowest point, and down here is the high point. And here's your idle screw again. And we'll look at the throttle valve, and it's closed, completely closed. Again, if you're idling too fast, check and see if this is open. Maybe it was put on backwards. So as the choke closes, you see how it moves the cam here, and it's getting up on the high side. Now it's on its highest point, and the valve is open just a little bit, so it's going to idle a little faster while the choke is closed. And again, this one here, you set the uh, idle speed with the engine at operating temperature, the choke fully open and set it to your uh, manufacturer specs probably again about 5 550 is my guess on these um, now if your uh, fast idle is off or seems too fast or something uh, bend this arm here this arm here if you bend take the bend out of it it's going to go slower if you bend it more it's going to idle faster okay so if it's not here in this, if it's like up here and the choke is open, uh, then you're going to idle too fast when it's hot, and um, and the fast idle isn't working correctly. So that may be a bent. It may be that this needs to be straightened out a little more so that it's open like that. Okay.
Now on all of these, you've got, you, you're going to have a loose rod. They're just worn from, from uh, many years of age. Now let's see, I already mentioned the throttle valve, if it's in backwards or something. Okay, so that's how the fast idle works. Again, uh, with the choke closed, it's going to get on the fast idle. And sometimes to get on the fast idle, you got to open up the throttle just a little bit because see how it catches. All right, so there you go. And also, in case you're wondering, that's how the fast idle cam uh, screws on here. At this, is how it's all set up. I'll also take a picture of this and uh, put it in our technical section. Okay, so we do get questions about how it's put on there sometimes. All right, I hope that helps you on your fast idle. Thank you for watching.